assistant coach Tracy Koleski. Uh, the Lakers are 2 nothing right now against the Brooklyn Redmen. Uh, but the first period, it started out a little bit slow tonight. Uh, what made the offense finally wake up? Uh, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to them. They came out guns and blazing, I thought. Um, you know, and obviously we got into some penalty trouble. And, you know, there's real no flow of the game, I thought, early in the game. I thought, again, it was back and forth. But, um, I, you know, they were they were attacking our bench right off the get-go. We, 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 we didn't do a really good job of getting on the floor early. Um, and, again, I think it was a little bit of urgent, uh, urgent play on their behalf that kind of put us on our heels a little bit. Uh, they score with 0.8 seconds left in the first period, and, and often that leads to a bit of momentum for a team. But you guys respond with a 5 nothing second period. What, what changed in that second period? Yeah, no, nothing. We talked about it. Like, I think at the end of the day, the guys, you know, we, we look at um, what we can control, you know, and uh, from an offensive side of the ball, like, we, we know that we could, we, we talked, we, we broke down a couple of the things that we thought that they were doing and, and found some of the matchups that we wanted to get in the second period better than we did in the first. And, and quite frankly, I thought we were just flat in the first period. I didn't, again, there was no real flow in the game because of the penalties and the short man situations. Um, I think the guys were chomping at the bit to kind of get going again, and, and part and parcel, that's why we were able to get five. I thought maybe a difference in the game tonight, too, was Matt Vince. And I wonder, Tracy, do you think, you know, he responded a little bit with Buck and getting the game one start, feeling he needs to prove a little something? Or? No, no, he knows not that guy. He's, he's just a, he's a competitor, and he's a guy that just, you know, when he comes in between the net, uh, between the between the pipes, he wants to be his best every time he plays. And um, regardless if it's Bucky or if it's Kirky, you know, it's his turn to go. He's, he's ready to go. So, um, you know, he's a true professional. He was... Uh, I know even, you know, he was talking about why, why not ride, ride Bucky, but we've never done that. You know, we've never done it in the playoffs. We've always kind of rode, you know, guys and went back and forth between guys, and we have trust in everybody. So, um, Vino was awesome tonight, and, you know, and that's, that's why he's one of the best goalies, if not the best goalie in the world. Uh, I'm sure you guys expect it to be a little different up in their barn, a different sort of game. Yeah, absolutely. You know, again, it, it, we talk about it in the dressing room at like almost every, 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 well, and we talk about it all the time. You know, the next shift's the next, most important. And, you know, obviously heading to their building, uh, you know, we're going to have our faithful we'll be there cheering us on. But it's a different game plan on the concrete, and, and they're used to it, and they play a little bit faster there. And um, we just have to, again, we have to manage what we do. Um, I think, uh, we, again, we have to take inventory of what, what we're doing and on both sides of the ball, um, what's allowing them to have success and what's allowing us to have success and continue to, to move on those things. Okay, good. Thanks, Tracy.